Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, and you're watching CEO Roadshow. Today, we're joined by Mr. Darren Jamison. He's CEO of Capstone Turbine, the world's leading clean technology manufacturer of microturbine energy system. Their stock trades in the NASDAQ under the ticker CPST. To date, Capstone has shipped nearly 10,000 units to 83 countries and in fiscal year 20 have saved customers an estimated $219 million in annual energy costs and 368,000 tons of carbon. Good afternoon, Darren, and welcome to the show. Good afternoon, Mike. Thanks for having me. So for investors new to the story, could you just give us a, a quick overview of Capstone's business and products? Yeah, Capstone makes a what's called a microturbine technology, which is a small energy device. Essentially, we've taken large scale power generation, shrunk it down and put it behind the meter. Uh, so if you're an industrial application, if you're a hospital, a hotel, uh, any kind of large energy consumer, it's a way to generate your own electricity at a lower price and lower emissions than traditional power generation. And you just announced that uh, Capstone end use customers total energy savings were an estimated half a billion dollars and 718,000 tons of carbon over the last two fiscal years. How did your technology enable them to achieve these types of huge savings and lower emissions? Yeah, our, our technology is about one tenth the emissions of an internal combustion engine. Uh, we meet all air resource boards requirements around the world, as well as here in California, which is the lowest in the world. Uh, we have very low emissions. We have one moving part, no oil, no antifreeze, no grease. Uh, we also operate at very high efficiencies. So we capture the heat off the microturbine and offset boiler loads, chiller loads. And so our total system efficiencies can be as high as 90%. So between our low emissions coming out of the microturbine and the high efficiencies, we save customers both money and we save the environment, which being green is nice, making green is even better. And Capstone is continuing to expand its global combined heat and power business and just announced an order for a uh, C600 signature series microturbine this month. Can you tell us more about that order? Yeah, that order is actually out of, out of Russia for a uh, sports facility, uh, but we've got all sorts of applications all over the world. As you mentioned, we shipped almost 10,000 machines in 83 countries, whether it's hospitals, hotels, universities, industrial applications, sports centers, leisure centers, whatever it may be. Any user that uses electricity 24 hours a day and has any kind of thermal energy, and that can be air conditioning, heat, steam uh, is a good application for us and a good potential customer. Uh, we were very heavily focused on oil and gas and then by 2014, 2016 timeframe, uh, we, we suffered from the downturn in the oil and gas market. So we really focused on, on diversifying our business and diversifying our applications and energy efficiency CHP is now proudly our, our largest market worldwide. And how is Capstone expanding its international footprint? Is it primarily through uh, resellers or other distribution partners? So we primarily today have uh, traditionally sold through distributors. Uh, we've got about 70 distributors worldwide in, in those 83 countries. Uh, we have recently started a direct sales organization back in January. Uh, the direct sales organization is really adding on top of what the distributors are doing. The distributors are the boots on the ground, the local support. They do job walks, application engineering, service the machines. Uh, they do remote monitoring of the machines. But we're now moving to a phase of profitability as a company and scale as a company. We want to interface with larger customers. So whether it's a Mohawk carpet and tile, whether it's Magnet International or an automotive manufacturer, you know, Pepsi, Marriott, whoever it may be, we want to take the two or three projects our distributors have done and turn it into a larger kind of corporate B2B uh, rollout. And so as we get to a larger rollout with these larger customers, uh, then it's good to have those distributors as our base, but we want to build on top of that. Okay, and next, um, we do want to remind viewers that you will be hosting a live webcast next Thursday, July 9th at 4.45 p.m. We'll put that up on the screen uh, to discuss Q4 results. Uh, how can investors participate in that webcast? Yeah, we'll, 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 we publish the, uh, uh, the call and information. It'll be on our website. Uh, we'll also have a replay of the webcast for 30 days afterwards. It is an important call for us. We'll be talking about uh, the, our fourth quarter, which was March 31st ended. Obviously, that was heavily impacted by COVID. Uh, the June quarter that we'll be talking about as well is our first quarter. Uh, that's the quarter we, we've been saying publicly for about two years will be EBITDA positive. And so very important for us to give an update on the EBITDA positive results and how we're doing as a business and really what we're going to do for the rest of the year and what expectations should be. Obviously, specific guidance is very challenging in this COVID environment, but we're going to see tremendous improvement on EBITDA basis year over year. Uh, just from the things we've done systemically as a business. So excited to have that call, talk about the business, and really uh, what, what you should be looking for as an investor in Capstone in the next you know three to four quarters. Well, great. We're looking forward to it as well. I encourage people to, to join uh, Darren for that call next Thursday. 
Um, so that's it. That's all the questions. We covered uh, uh, the latest developments. Anything else you think investors should uh, take note of right now? I think the biggest thing is just that there's a change in the energy market. You know, obviously everybody's dealing with COVID. We've got an opportunity to, to accelerate that change and kind of green, build a green culture and a, and a green society as we kind of come out of COVID. Uh, we're seeing that happen in Europe. I think more and more REITs and, and larger institutions are looking at uh, rebuilding green and, and building a green business. Uh, so we think that's important. About 40% of the U.S. today is made up of folks that grew up with climate change. And so and, and they're very active and becoming more active than we've seen on the, on the TV recently. And so I think Capstone has an opportunity to really uh, accelerate that green growth and help customers both save money and save the planet at the same time, which is a, a great initiative to have. Yeah, really couldn't agree more. Great story. One we're going to start following here regularly on CEO Roadshow. So, Darren, really want to thank you again for your time and for being on the show. And we hope to catch up with you again soon for another update. Much appreciated, Mike. Stay safe. You too. Thank, thanks and take care. Everybody, we've been talking again to Mr. Darren Jamison. He's CEO of Capstone Turbine, the world's leading clean technology manufacturer of microturbine energy systems. Their stock trades in the NASDAQ under ticker CPST. You can learn more about them at, at uh, www.capstoneturbine.com. Thanks for watching CEO Roadshow.